For this question, we have calculate either the H3O or the OH for solutions below at 25 degrees. So calculate H3O and OH minus four solutions below. So we have A is OH minus of 1.31 times 10 to the negative 7. B, we have H3O of 9.35 times 10 to the negative 9. And these are all mol molarity. And C is quite high relative to the others. We have just 0 0.000715. And if we translate that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. It would be 7.1. 5 times 10 to the negative 4 molarity. So, in order to be able to find this question, we need to know some formulas. And the reason why I say this is because I find this to be the most clear cut way. We have first that pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of H3O. Okay? And then the form we also have is. 14 is equal to pH plus pOH because you'll see that if you add the pH and pOH of together you should get the answer 14 so that's why you can rearrange it to where it's like if you wanted to find pOH from pH you would subtract pH from 14 okay and we'll do that with these questions and the last one we need to know is pOH is equal to negative log of O minus. The reason why this is important because if we kind of just did like a slash here, you would see that after rearranging, you have 10 to the minus pH is equal to the concentration of H3O. And the last one, 10 to the minus uh, pOH is equal to the concentration of OH minus. So this is how we're going to keep kind of flipping around in order to get the answer. With that being said, First question we have 1.31 times 10 to the negative 7 moles of OH minus. So they want us to find the H3O plus. So in order to do that, we first have to find out the pOH because we're working with OH minus. So let's have negative log of concentration, which is 1.31 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay, and we get a pOH of 6.88. So now in order to find out what that pH is, we just subtract that from 14. So now we have a pH of 7.11. Well, 7.12 if you round it. Um, and now in order to find out what the concentration of H3O is, we have to now use this formula here, 10 to the minus pH. So that's 10 to the power okay, of negative that answer we got. And we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just make sure I'm counting right. Because <laughs> I want to make sure I put 10 to the negative right answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have. 7.6 because we only have two significant digits, so 7.63 times 10 to the negative 8 for the concentration of H3O plus. That would be for A. For B, now we do the same thing. We start with H3O, we want to get to OH minus. So now we first find out the pH by negative log of. Um, 9.35 times 10 to the negative 9. And we get that the pH is 8.029. And so to convert that, 14 minus that answer, pOH is equal to 5.97. And then we do the same thing where we do 10 to the power of negative of that answer to convert it back. And we get. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two or three decimal place well three significance we have 1.07 times 10 to the negative 6 because that's why I counted earlier 3 4 5 6 and that'll be the concentration of OH minus okay so as you can see we're always using the kind of like these formulas here to kind of work through which is what we want so the for the last one C we have 7.15 times 10 to the negative 4 Okay, so with that being said, the pH of that would be negative log of that amount. So pH, exactly, which makes sense because it's such a high concentration relative to the others. We have a pretty low pH. That's a lot of uh, acidic uh, complex. So in order to find pOH, is 14 minus that answer, 10.8. And then now we do the um, conversion back. So that's 10 to the power of negative that answer. We have 1.39, well, if we round it up, 1.40 times 10 to a negative 11 for the concentration of OH minus. So that is what we did for this these questions. As you can see here, we based it off of this, and we always made sure that we were solving for what we needed. So all these formulas were used here, and it's just kind of a simple, not simple, but it's important that you go step by step so you don't miss anything in this question. With that being said, let's see how we did. We have, yep, 7.63 times 10 to the negative 8, 1.07 times 10 to the negative 6, and 1.40 times 10 to the negative 11. So this is correct. And now move on to question number eight. What is the oxidation number of carbon in CO2? So for this, in order to solve this question, you have to understand what the oxidation number